Only joking. Got sound. I hope I have. I won't know, will I? <sighs> Welcome to another week of disappointment. Gone wrong projects. Annoyance. You name it. So I'm nearly, literally nearly there now. I'm actually going to seal it with this decking oil stuff that I've got today. I don't know if it's any good. Let me put that over the top. I've got some plastic sheeting to put on the back. So I've done that far end. So this end. Cut a few bits up. I've got a couple of off cuts from that end here. Across here. And then we can do some of that lot. So something funny happened from last week's video. Well, it made me chuckle anyway. I can't believe how many OCD people there are out there that watch this. <coughs> Excuse me. The OCD crazy people that don't like the shower, not quite in the middle. Does it matter? Does it matter? Really? I don't mind it. I'm not bothered. Literally the only reason for doing that was to stop that pipe. I was toying with the idea actually of coming out here, having a low, the pipe lower down so you couldn't see it on the back and then up the back of the shell and then the return going in the back as opposed to the side. But obviously I didn't do that. I just thought short pipe run, I'll just chuck it there right at the end. It's not bothered me. <laughs> it's bothered. It seems to have bothered a lot of people. I do. That has amused me. That's probably the biggest thing that people have said change actually, is put the shower in the middle. Um, and there was a lot of response as well to the decking on the outside. I'll be honest with you, I hadn't thought about changing that, but after seeing some of the comments, which is probably what I was using it for really, still some ideas from people. I think I'm going to change it. Because it just looks a bit tired and tatty now. It just looks crud. So yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go for that the slate tile effecty stuff. The little tiles that are on a big sheet that you can, uh, I don't even know what they're made of. I haven't even priced it up yet. I just like the idea of changing it. There's a few people that have got it spot on as well. Like exactly as if they know. And I don't know these people so I don't know they've got it right but obviously they're thinking along the same lines of me. I mean in an ideal situation like I've said before, yes I'd love a bigger pond. I've got plenty of room, but I'm trying to keep it real. I've got another expensive hobby, cycling, so I need to keep koi real so I can spend stupid money on bikes and kit and shoes and tops and cafe stops and pub stops. So with regards to the health of the fish, Francis, as you can see, still got mucus on her. I've just left her alone, don't know what it is, maybe slightly high pH has done that, not a clue. Likewise Chubbs has still got a pimple on her front peck. But again it's getting no worse, in fact in my head she'd be looking a little better, but I'm just leaving well alone at the minute. I'm too busy with other stuff. I'm very certain that. The little achiever looks like it's got a bit of a mark on its gill plate. That might be worthy of an investigatory look. In fact, I might net that up in the basket and just have a bit of a closer look there. I don't know if you could pick any of that up on the camera there, but it didn't look very good. Yeah, just there. Looks like a bit of a lump actually. As I look down the side of it, you can see. What's that about? 
And I might just put the floating basket in on my bowl in. Yeah, that's not too good, that. Just to get a closer look. So yeah, thanks for everyone's comments last week. There was absolutely loads, and I did enjoy reading through them. And it's given me a bit of, um, as I say, like the cladding for the outside and a few other bits. Still keeping it under me hat just for now. Um, not going to reveal all just yet, although, as I say, a few people do know, but a select few. I think I'm going to finish off just up here. I'm going to have a quick look at that Chiba. So, I'll see in about half an hour or an hour. We'll have a closer look, see what's on, on that Chiba's uh, cheek, which doesn't look too good. Hopefully it's just a bit of a scrape, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. I've actually got a bit of sedate in the bowl. It'll just be easier. This should definitely put on a decent bit of size. It'll just be easier if it's knocked out and I can get a bit of a closer look. So it looks like a bit of a lump as well as, um, well, I don't know really. I can give it a decent once over rather than it splashing around. Obviously the water's warm rather than it splashing around stressing me out and stressing itself out. The well, underside's good and clean. Definitely put on size. It's got to be 40 cm now. And we've got a measuring bowl. I've taken the um, the measuring strip out of my proper measuring bowl, so um, I need to sort that. I can't even remember what it was when I got it. I'll have to look back. I'll probably tag that video above um, the day we went to get it. It was when we went over and a couple of the lads were on the Cachiogons. And we just happened to spot a couple of little achievers out the back. Well, we mate Gary did. Made me spend some money. Well, it looks alright. I like it. But I don't like that. I don't remember if it's a knock or something like that. I'll have a bit of a closer look the two hands. I'll put this down and have another a better look. And I'll report back in a second. Again, maybe not necessarily always follow what I do, but I've just I don't know it was some kind of blob. Whether or not it was a bit of carp pox or something like that, because obviously it's a juvenile fish, so it potentially could be that. Just gently rubbed it off with my nail. And um just gonna put a bit of tamadine on it. I don't know what it was. It didn't look red and horrible, or sore, or anything like that. I've had a quick look inside the gills as well. If you gently lift the, the gill plate up, you don't want to touch the gills, but it's hard to do one-handed. If you've got a fish out, it's always worth having a look. It should be nice and pink, which they are. Mouth's good, fins are good. It's all right. I think if I remember rightly, my issue when I bought the fish was potentially this part here looking messy. Obviously it's not the cleanest, but for what I paid for it, got to be happy. So yeah, I'm just going to put a bit of tamadine on that and get him back in. I'll say him. Probably a boy. That's the first time I've had a fish out for quite a while actually. I know I had chubs out a while back. I've been a bit more sit on my hands recently. And there's the, the little bit of junk that I scraped off. Who knows? Probably a bit of pox. So it colours in now, look. 
Anyway, so I say, I'm just going to blob a bit of this on and get it back. So I thought, well, I've got some sedate in the bowl. I'll just get this kaku out, just for a quick... Uh, just point out a few things on it. And that black mark there, shimmy. There, shimmy. I know a lot of people ask on forums and stuff, what's a shimmy or is it a shimmy or not? Obviously, it's clearly a kahaku. A nice pattern. Um, it's just in the last, this year actually, there's a tiny black mark there. It's a bit on its dorsal fin as well. I don't know if I can pick that up just by my thumb here. Look, there's a tiny bit of one starting just there. So again, not majorly off-putting. Well, it depends, but yeah, not a huge amount you can do. I know there are people that will doctor it and take them out. Some shimmies are really, if they're on the surface, you can actually use your thumbnail. And scrape it off if it, there you go, look. It's nearly disappeared now, but to me, not hugely bothered. Obviously, it's not great, it should be a kahaka, there should be no black on it. So not only has the fish got shimmies, it's had horrible carp pox for a good few years now. Let me look at his tail. Again, there's not a lot you can do with this. And this peck fin, this year, has just been a bit of a mess. As you can see, probably need trimming. But it's had horrible, disgusting pox for... Oh, well, at least this year, I think. So it's had it for a few years, but this, this the end of last year, start of this year, was really bad. See it all on its tail, look. Right? I wouldn't advise anyone to start hacking bits off and taking it off. Just leave it as it is. Hopefully the fish will grow out of it. Yeah, that fin's disgusting. I might actually put a blob or something on that, but again, there's not a lot we can do, but it is gone bit here went disgusting it had a massive blob on it and I did take it off but it's looking like the fins actually needs trimming and tidying up really yeah so I just wanted to point out shimmies you get them um, as I say not a huge amount you can do if they're just under the skin you can scrape them with your finger now they're a bit deeper, I would just leave alone. Again, unless you're showing your fish in the, the show scene. The only point, healthy fish, just leave it alone. Anyway, so I'm just going to give that peck fin a bit of a treat on that. Might even get a bit of a trim. It's just, just a shame. Just if you get a fish with it, sometimes it can go either way really. Sort of disappear when the weather's warm and it gets a bit older or in this case it's just sort of been lingering around for ages and that just doesn't look very good at all so a bit of intervention needed there poor old thing now fish never gonna never gonna be massive you just see it's not not got a huge frame but pattern Got a really good pattern. Well, I like it anyway. Right, anyway. I think the Achiever is it up and about now. There we go. It's up and swimming around now. So that was good news about that. Nothing too sinister. Let's get this sorted and get it back in. I'm going for me tea. We're busy today. So look, we're nearly there. Just need to cut another one. That's a bit angled there. And then, boom!
all done. I've got some plastic sheeting to put on the back. I've got some oil to put on the front. In fact, I've oiled these first. You can see a slight difference in colour. Well, I can. I don't know whether that... Finally, I think it looks alright. A bit disappointed that the... I forget that gap there. But they're um, not massively uniform in sh size and shape. I mean, look, you can see here. This one's a bit thicker than that one. And they're not perfectly square, but apparently, wife likes it. Done a good job. Get a pat on the head. And wave at you in the shadow. So yeah, nearly done. Get this one cut later today and put on there. <coughs> Need to divvy up over there. And they can sort the jungle out. Anyway, that's not coy, is it? That's not coy stuff. It's actually Thursday today, I've just got from work and I need to wrap up this week's video tonight because it's my wedding anniversary tomorrow 21 years God, I need a medal or maybe Becca does so we're going out for dinner so this should look alright the little Achiba still got the white bit that I picked off from the other day. There's still a bit of white on its uh, gill plate but I'm alright with that at the minute. Hopefully it'll colour up. I was just thinking, like I normally do, I'm sure like we all do, when you get in from work, pop over to the pond, if you haven't got a way feed out and chuck a bit of food in. I did buy them, as you remember, some treats. Now I haven't used a lot of this, but I have, because I have found, well, I don't know how long I've had it, a couple of months, that well i was feeding half my little cup of this and then topping it up with the koi treats the shrimp stuff when i was feeding it it was sending the fish a bit doolally actually like making a couple of them jump out of the water i don't know whether it was affecting the gills or anything like that or maybe i was feeding too much but yeah the fish were going absolutely crazy i was getting a few jumping swimming around a bit crazy so uh, I've been a bit dubious about putting it in but maybe I just need to feed a bit less of it and then uh, maybe just on its own as opposed to with what I normally would have done with the pellets don't know I don't normally feed any other kind of treats like that the only other treats that I would potentially put in over time is uh, prawns some mussels it really and even then that's a bit fun, fun. not very often I don't know what I was trying to say it's not very often that I do that the weather again today has been absolutely beautiful but me heater was on it was a bit of a fresh evening and night so my heater was on it come on quite late actually But still maintaining 20 degrees, so happy days. Might be a bit more today. I don't know whether it's gone up a bit. Air temp's been sort of 22, 23. It's still 21. I am considering now though, covers. I just wish I could, it was an easy way to put them on of an evening. Um, ooh. Rather than, they're a bit, um, bit big to be able to just sort of take on and off so uh, yeah but I'm thinking about putting them on because as I say the evening temps at the minute are horrible I'm not saying putting them on now but I'm thinking about within probably early October which would have been way sooner than usual because obviously with a smart meat I'm always looking at it thinking well, it's a couple more quid than it was yesterday Anyway, enough rambling. That's it for this week. As usual, thanks for watching. Thanks for, I think I said it earlier in this diary which I filmed the other day. Thanks for everyone's comments and suggestions. 
and from last week's video about p potentials for my pond adjustment. Um, I'm exploring a few other options that I hadn't even thought of. I'm costing a few extra things up that I hadn't thought of, so <clears throat> I need to have a busy year. Clean more windows, get more money. Um, and we'll see. I'm still waiting for me quote from me pond builder guy and then I need to probably last thing I'll do is the paving now I would have thought it's everything else but hang fire also at some point after you've seen this some point next week I've got a, a very small Adam Byer grow on grow and show update uh, there's not a lot going on but I'll explain all of that maybe Sunday maybe Monday maybe Tuesday maybe Wednesday next week but very soon and I'm almost finished editing the mountain of video that I took when I went down to Adams originally a couple of weeks back now that's currently about an hour and a half that's a, a lot of filming um, might trim it down some more I took my drone with me actually and I've got tons of video flying over the place over there so I'll probably trim that down a bit but yeah it's an absolute mountain of video so that might even be three parts but keep your eye on that should be one drop in next week at least um, so yeah plenty going on <coughs> so yeah thanks for watching this week keep your comments coming I do love me Saturday mornings no doubt you like watching the video and I love replying to everybody um, although I haven't I normally cycle Saturday I'm not cycling this week we are going for a wander down Rutland Water so your comments will be as usual normally waiting till a bit later Saturday but no cycling how am I going to manage no cycling no pub how am I going to cope I'll get there so thanks for watching catch you all definitely midweek next week probably maybe even twice actually with the Adam Byer brief update and then the Adam Byer Adam Byer visit portion one so i'll see you in the middle of the week if not a bit sooner thanks for watching catch you again soon cheers bye